<laughs> okay. Uh, Jared, it was so great to see you in this type of a film. Because I have to tell you, personally, you had me at that doorway at Dear Frankie. So I was waiting for another romantic film. Were you, you know, consciously looking for something like this to do? Um, yeah. I, I, um... I, I have been for, for a long time. Before 300, I'd actually decided I wasn't going to do another historical drama or kind of action movie. And then I saw that and I went, oh, how can I resist that? But um, it was definitely time to move into something more romantic or something more comedic. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't going to do it just for the sake of doing it. I had to be the right thing. And this script came along. It was such a beautifully crafted script and a great idea for a story. And it's Hilary Swank. I mean, the cast is so fantastic that... Um, so I, that's kind of why I jumped into it. And then I met Richard and we just like fell in love. I mean, it's funny because when I met him, he, within about two minutes, he said, I want you to play this role. It wasn't an offer when I met him. I knew he was interested, but we were like, da, da, da. I turned up late with my new puppy. And I think he was a little pissed off when I walked in. But then we started laughing and he had the puppy on his lap. And like two minutes, he said, I want you to play Jerry. I'm like, okay, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but... It's your puppy. Rich, no, <laughs> <laughs> Rich, he has that uh, a bit of Parkinson's. It's, but I mean, he's going to be fine. But um, but uh, anyway, so he, he <laughs> cut. Um, he uh, we just got on yeah. so well together, and, and it was. Uh, I knew that this was a, a, a great thing to be involved in. A few challenges. We've got the Irish accent. Was that a little bit of a challenge? It was, actually, and I hope people appreciate that, <laughs> because I know we're kind of close, but I always think that the accents are very different. To the Americans, they sound the same, but to a Scots person, an Irish person, they're really very different, and it's you want to try and um, be able to come across as a real person and not a leprechaun, which was always a bit of a challenge. <laughs> oh, hello, Holly. I'm your husband. I'm also, I'm also a little green man. Um... So there was times that you found yourself fall, falling into that, but um, but it was good. It was good. You know, I'll, I'll soon find out when no. it, when it plays in Ireland and they and they start chasing me down. No, no, that's not gonna happen. Now we all know you can sing. You know, I'm one of your biggest fans. I love your voice. But playing the guitar, something new. Yes, um, something new and something old. I mean, I haven't played it since the film, but it was uh, that was a pretty intensive crash course. It's funny because I I actually love that kind of stuff. I. The, the film I'm doing now, I, I had to become like an expert marine, and and you know just a, a few weeks, and that's, and, and you start and you're like, I can't do this, it's too much, and but it's just practice and practice and practice, and literally I would be falling asleep. I remember standing playing in front of the mirror, standing up and with my notes, and I was so tired that I literally my knees would go like three times, and I'm like. I'd be in bed and I'd be playing the, the damn guitar because I knew it was just practice, 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 practice. So I worked really, really hard at it, and um, and I still, I still couldn't do it by the time we filmed. But it was Jeffrey Dean Morgan and I. It was hilarious. The two of us on stage the whole time. We just, you know, I'd literally go, "You want to get together and rehearse?" And we just rehearse, 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 and we'd both be like, "This is just so stupid. I can't believe we're doing this." You know. You never seen two actors be nicer to supporting artists the day we did that scene because. We knew we needed their love big time. <laughs> we needed them to be very forgiving. But um, that was yeah. fine. It worked out great. It really did. Now, chemistry with Hilary Swank. Um, you know, is it intimidating when you get in front of an actress and, you know, she's got bookend Oscars here. I mean, come on. You know, but it really worked between the two of you. Do you think it was just instant, or did you work on that? I think that. Um, I mean, yeah, I think she was a little intimidated, but it was. <laughs> I think that uh, that was a joke. You know, she was intimidating. You're laughing? Okay, good. I, I think that um, I, I, I always get nervous before I start a film anyway, no matter who I'm, um, I'm going to be rehearsing with. So without a doubt, I'm thinking, this is Hilary Swank. But immediately on meeting her, she's so lovely. She's so cool and easygoing and doesn't take herself too seriously. And the script itself is such a fun movie to, 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 to work with and great characters that immediately there was no issue. And I had actually said to Richard beforehand, I really want to try something different in this film. I want to try and put the focus on Hillary and on you mm -hmm. in terms of, are you all right? Because normally I worry about myself, you know? And I don't mean in like cloudy, round, selfish way, but you do get in your own head. And in doing that, I was amazed how much it opened things up for me in the movie and how much more I gained 
her trust in those subtle ways and, and she's like that anyway. So I found that when I was working with Hillary, I never felt nervous at all. Mm. I never, and I never felt protective and I never felt anything except us having a blast and being purely 100% creative together. Yeah. And with Richard, it was like this little threesome. I mean, it was really, um, it was really a cool experience. Um, the, the way we all work together. So now the infamous strip scene. Now you have some really sexy moves there, but you almost injured Hillary Swank again, two-time Oscar winner. Do you want to tell us about that? I actually there was a lot of injuries in that scene because you know I had to jump onto the bed. At first they had this ottoman there, and I smacked my knee in the corner as well twice, and then once hit my shin, and then on top of that I almost took out Hillary's eye and. I mean, I can laugh about it now because she does, but in fact, she even laughed about it then, which was pretty cool, but it was horrible at the time. And I'd spent about two days doing this strip scene, and that's hard. It was funny at first, but you knew a day into it, the people are like, this isn't entertaining anymore, you know? We've seen it, you're doing it. Because you know you're doing so many takes and close-ups, wide shots, mid shots, and then it we turned around on Hillary. And when we turned around on Hillary, when I pulled up when my brace, my sorry my suspender pings it got stuck in the table behind me and as i start crawling towards her it's stretching out like a cartoon you know it was like a it was like a road runner cartoon so going, and she's laughing so hard because she can see it happening and she doesn't know what's going to happen i don't know what's going to happen but it pinged behind me and hit her in the head and um and it cut her head open i mean she got four stitches i think and the production shut down for five days <laughs> and it went from jumping about in my shamrock boxer shorts and that. in the next minute everybody's gone Hillary's on her way to hospital the production has been wrapped and I'm sitting on that set that you see in the film mm -hmm. on the bed on my own wow. it's like you know I'm really going for the violence here but literally <laughs> they'd all just and I'm like god I can't believe any of this just mm -hmm. happened you know so yeah. it was but she was amazing yeah. and she immediately in the, in, in the middle of it said when I was apologized she's like you know as blood's coming out, she said, don't even go there, not your fault, uh, which I, I think says a lot about Hillary yeah, Swank, that no. she was more concerned in that moment about me not taking the blame. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, it all worked out, thank goodness. Yeah. Thank okay, goodness. now this is a kind of movie where I think, you know, it's a great date movie, there's no question about it, but I was bawling my head off. Are you the kind of guy that sits in the theater and you're really tough and brave, or do you actually cry? No, 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 I cry. I cry, I cry all the time. <laughs> I'll probably cry when you leave. Um, <laughs> I... Uh, <laughs> I know I'll cry when I leave, but I I, I cry at movies. I, I, I actually cried at the end of the script when I read it. I mean, often you finish a script, and when you have tears in your eyes and you're really genuinely moved, I had the same thing with The Phantom of the Opera when I finished reading that. Um, you know you have a good thing going, and, and, and this script did that to me a lot. So, no, I, I, can, I can let go. I don't... I, I have my moments in life where I notice there's a couple months where I'm not not crying as much as I do, and other times I'm bubbling away, but I, I cried in this film. I've never seen so many people cry in a movie as in this, you know, especially the women. Every woman, the whole film, they're just crying and laughing the whole time. Yeah. So that's, to me, laughing and crying, you know, one is there, one is there. If you can get people to do both at the same time, you, you, you can't beat that. What Jerry does for Holly in this movie is cr pretty amazing, you know. I mean, I read the book, and, and it's, you know, it is really an amazing story. Are you a hopeless romantic? Do you think you'd see yourself doing something like that? No. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty damn impressive. Sure. I can't, I'm not going to tell you that I would be um, that impressive. You know, there's parts of me that are in Jerry, without a doubt, you know, and, and he is fun. He is a charmer. He he can be silly. He has the big puppy dog in him, but but he has something that's way more than that. Something that's very actually spiritual and profound and an ancient kind of wisdom in him that comes. It's nothing for him. He's just instinctively has it, you know, and 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 and, and a selflessness that comes out as the movie goes on. That is just it's really inspirational and beautiful. I can't I can't tell you that I have that. I don't know. I, I wish I had that. Well, you've done a really wonderful job in this. It's always great seeing you. And uh, what a year. Congratulations. We hope yeah. we see you at the Oscars for 300. Wow.
That's going to be, yeah, I think you're going to see some nominations there. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. You did a great job. Lovely talking to you. Thank you. Okay, you can strip down now. Yeah. You did. I promise. I actually can't because I have a huge cock. Okay, but you didn't say that.